Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we watched Harpoon Whale Watching Massacre. Who's watching the whales? This is an epic tale about a group of whale watchers whose vessel breaks down and they get rescued by a group of murderous whalers. Like, they didn't get rescued. They got murdered. <laughs> so what do we like about this movie? I liked the black guy. I found him to be very efficient and hilarious. My favorite part in this entire movie was when he came out of the closet. It might be disgusting to you, but this disgusting faggot there is the only hope your tight Bible belt whip church going ass has of getting out of this alive. I liked how fast things moved once they started moving. So it was a little slow at first. <laughs> Eventually, everybody gets on a boat. They end up getting on the other boat where there's murderers. But once they get on that boat, a guy's just sitting there twitching, getting all fucking like crazy. And then he just goes and kills somebody. I actually liked the set of this whole entire movie. Really, they had big ass boats, like actual vessels. He's a big boat fan. What were our favorite kills? My favorite kill was actually two or three kills. Mm. This old lady made a great move jumping into a barrel to hide herself. Mama walks by with a harpoon or something in her hand. She pokes her head out. Well, you've given your spot away. Fucking flips the thing over and starts playing with her. In the other room, you need to take all these explosives. The old lady's on the ground. She gets up. Mama runs at her with a harpoon. The Asian lady steps out. They both get harpooned. She lights the lighter and blows them all the fuck up. Great effects on mama's face. We see that again when uh, her son comes to check her out, grabs her face and her face just rips off oh, and yeah. he just starts rubbing oh, it on his yeah. face. It's fucking gross, but like the so effects cool. were pretty cool. My favorite kill goes out to the French passenger. He gets to the lighthouse. All we see is like the French guy drinking, holding his stomach. You just see the guy who we met earlier who was trying to sell whale figurines, ax in his hand, just toss it in the air, and then just like whips it, like side angle slice. It looked badass. It's like he was skipping yeah. a rock or something. My favorite death involved Marianne and Siggy. Siggy's chasing down Marianne. She's fighting him off. At this point, she has a flare gun, points at his head. Goodbye, creep. And she misses. But then she gets tons of time to reload that gun, point at him again, hits him. I call this an emergency. As he gets hit, he flies back. You see the flare just like sparks flying out of his eye. And it's a great practical effect. Let's just talk about a couple notable deaths. The captain, his death was pretty awesome because we actually got to see like the point of view of a shotgun and then bam, his whole head explodes. <laughs> uh, I was a big fan of Gutter Hansen's death. He just kind of went onto the deck and ended up getting harpooned. And it was fucking awesome. And unexpected. The last notable death is the old Asian man with the camera. He just books it off the boat, jumps it, he's just swimming away, and then you get the captain of the boat going, let's see if I got my old skills. Aims for the harpoon and just BAM! What didn't we like about this movie? I think the combination of a of a slow start mixed with three or four different languages, it was kind of irritating. There's a couple things I didn't like about this movie. This very forced, unlikely group of characters getting into this boat. There was no context <laughs> as to if this was like an official tour. Like, uh, what is this, a circus? The way they built up a lot of these characters I didn't like, it just didn't make any sense. It's like they all eventually turned bad. Yeah. The way this film built up Annette's character, she should have been the protagonist. But they just did nothing with her. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. There wasn't much I liked about it. I just, I liked the kills. They were kind of cool. Great work with the uh, practical effects. But the storyline, the characters, just unbelievable. Just took me out of the movie. I'm gonna have to give this movie one head in an icebox out of five. We had tons of different kills, decent deaths. They weren't the best, but they were all right. We had some reasonable acting, but I don't really know considering the language barrier. It could be terrible acting, but I mean, I think Icelandic guys just seem really pissed off. <laughs> the, the comic relief was definitely a perk. So I'm gonna have to give this three disgusting little men out of five. You are a disgusting little man. This movie started off extremely slow, but once we got like our first legit kill, the movie just did a complete 180 and picked up. It was awesome because all the kills were really cool. It was a sweet chase, though the beginning really did suck and the characters really pissed me off. It wasn't that bad. I was so angry at their actions that it helped me get more into the movie, which is what I really like. So I'm gonna give this two and a half green piss workers out of five. Green piss. 
That's what we thought about the film. If you've seen this random movie, let us know what you thought in the comments below. Tweet us with any recommendations at bloodbath underscore TV. And like this if you liked our reviews. Sub to the channel if you want to see more great things from us. And make sure you check out the what would you do from this episode tomorrow. Mm -hmm.